Hello my nymphs, welcome back to Yggdrasil. My name is Michelle and today we are going to be talking about a movie starving in suburbia because I want to talk about the things in the movie that are extremely over dramatized and parts of the movie that are actually really relatable coming from a person who has had issues with ED behavior, restrictive behavior in the past and binging which shows up in the show which begs the trigger warning the movie includes things like weight, ED behavior, and also painting the ED out to be the villain, which it is, so it's just kind of weird the way they did it. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn the bell on if you're feeling risky, comment below how you feel about the situation, have you seen this movie before? Thank you so much to each and every one of my members. I appreciate each and every one of you every single day. Make sure to consider becoming a member. It starts at 99 cents. You get early access to my videos. You get to pick my videos and many more other perks. Thank you so much for watching this video as always and enjoy. So the movie revolves around a 17 year old dancer named Hannah whose friend Caden at the beginning of the movie introduces her to a thin spoke site just because quote unquote it's weird. Caden says that she actually visits the site from time to time and doesn't everyone want to be a little Anna? Hannah asks what Anna is and Caden says it stands for Anna. But then Caden has to use the bathroom and she leaves Hannah with the laptop and this is kind of realistic in my opinion although when I first saw my first thinspo triggering post I don't know that I had that like extreme like oh my god moment like it took months for me to fall down that rabbit hill. The next day we learn that her brother Leo is in wrestling and is trying to make a weight class and his dad is obsessed with it, telling him everything to eat. His dad decides to get a donut that morning after trying the mom's health drink because she's obsessed with diets. And our main character, Hannah, is like, you know how many calories are in those? <laughs> the mom is talking to the dad, but Hannah overhears while they talk about how maybe everyone in the family should start eating healthier to support her brother because he has to eat egg whites on his own. And this is really relatable to someone with an ED. It's kind of like when someone brings up something that sounds very casual and how triggering it can actually be. I don't know, I feel like this scene is pretty appropriate. While she's leaving, her dad makes a joke to her asking if she'd like to join them on their 10 mile run for her brother Leo's wrestling. And she stops and she's like, wait, are you calling me fat? Later, she is writing her college essay and is trying to write things about herself, but then she deletes it all and types, I am fat, which is pretty dramatic, but honestly not completely unheard of for someone with Anna to do because it's always on their mind. That night, she decides to go on the Thinspiration board that her friend had introduced her to, realizing that she is bigger than everyone in the chat. People refer to her as a newbie. This is where she finds her mentor which is kind of weird. I don't know if a lot of people have this, but it's kind of like a sponsor in AA, but for restriction. And she's like, I'm gonna tell you how to do it all. You've come to the right place. We'll refer to her as Butterfly as her username. She talks with Butterfly about how she's been trying to lose five pounds forever. And everything that Butterfly is saying is extremely relatable to her. She's like, every time you eat, you feel like a failure. And she's like, yep. The girl kind of, shows up in the room as an aberration and she says, I can teach you to not need. I don't know, you guys. I have never referred to fat this way, but she said, you'll be five pounds less of disgusting oozing fat in no time. And of course, Hannah is like, if this is true, you are my new best friend. Butterfly says, this is so weird and controlling. I'm gonna teach you how to be a true fan of Anna. You can say no to peanut butter, which she 
she had been snacking on. And so at this point, she just throws all the peanut butter away. The next day, she starts engaging in restrictive behaviors and creates a goal weight for herself. That night, she goes home and creates a whole shrine uh, altar of the inspiration posts that she puts over her bed and starts working out. And at this point, her mom walks in. She's like, oh, you're working out again, but isn't concerned quite yet. Her mom tells her that she looks so beautiful and grown up these days, so healthy. And of course, Hannah's Anna brain takes it to, you think I'm fat? Her mom gets her a present and it ends up being a pair of pants, but they're too small, which is obviously extremely triggering for her and makes her get angry. Hannah does a lot of working out that night, but then decides to weigh in and I don't know if that is exactly correct because from what I've heard, if you weigh in after a workout, you'll actually weigh more because of like muscle and stuff. And of course she is over the moon when she reaches her goal weight and she has to go straight onto the Anna forum to tell Butterfly. She lost the weight pretty fast, which depending on the Anna Rexic is not too uncommon, but she's super excited about it, where in reality, you might be excited the first few times you lose weight, but after that, it's just like, um, yeah, I'm too depressed to even care. On the site, she talks about how she's so excited. She feels like she can do anything. Butterfly says she can lose five more pounds, 10 more pounds if she wanted to. And Hannah is like, what about 20? Kind of as like a half joke. But then Butterfly comes out of nowhere as an aberration in the movie and says, I will make you my new project. I will make you lose the weight in 20 days. Butterfly says, let's make this the summer of skinny for you to help you, support you, and to make you thin. Her mentor, Butterfly, Fly, which again is not relatable to myself as I do not partake in ED forums, but she's like, let's start you on a 500 calorie a day diet, which let me stop you guys with your little ED brains right there. That will make you binge. She says no binging, no purging, count every single bite. At this point, Hannah's still a little bit apprehensive and she says, I don't know if I can do that, but Butterfly says, imagine feeling like a feather. And of course she has like a really pretty accent too. She says, being able to wear whatever you want. Just imagine all these things when you feel like you want to eat. Butterfly claims she will feel completely confident after losing 20 pounds, apparently. Mm -hmm. She will finally feel happy, free, and describes her as a caterpillar becoming a butterfly. Like, what is with this girl? It just sounds like she has this like weird controlling thing. She claims that she is going to make Hannah perfect. During dance practice the next day, her friend says that she looks like she's missing her butt, not realizing she has an ED and she's really happy about this, which is relatable to a person with an ED. Like even if something sounds like an insult or any comment on them losing weight whatsoever, you get kind of a high euphoric feeling. She ends up getting a dance solo, but her dance teacher wants to talk to her and says she's kind of worried because she doesn't want Hannah to be too much of a perfectionist, hinting at knowing about her ED. And when Hannah tells Butterfly about this, she says, just ignore her. So literally her sponsor. At this point, her mom comes in her room while she's not home and sees the Anna website on her computer, but it quickly turns off and her mom doesn't know the password. So she starts freaking out and asks her brother who does know the password to help her out. Out. She also notices all of the thinspo on her daughter's wall. When they confront her about it, she gets mad and offensive, which is something that I can relate to with both my ED and my addiction. When you get caught and people try to stop you from getting what you want, you get extremely angry. Her mom says she's not allowed to go on the Anna site anymore. However, she doesn't listen. She goes under a new username and takes all of Butterfly's advice about how 
out, her parents won't find out. Butterfly gives her a whole speech to give to her parents about how she's okay and she walks away eating a bagel. She claims that there are times that she wishes she was skinnier but that does not make her have Anna and all of the girls at her dance crew made the account coagulatively. Is that the right use of the word? Butterfly starts being really weird and says that she has to cut down to 200 calories a day in order to achieve all of the promises that she's giving her. She explains that almost after a week, her hunger will completely disappear. She'll feel high, energized, empty, giddy. Then there is a compilation of her doing the do, exercising a lot, getting a butterfly poster. And I feel like that's pretty realistic because it's like, it just shows how miserable the your life is just because it has one goal. At a party, she's talking with her best friend's boyfriend, which is a whole other side story, but she thinks that he doesn't want her because she's not as skinny as her best friend. And he's like, I have the drunkies, which means that you are hungry when you're drunk. And so he offers her chips and she's like, oh no, I can't have that. But then he's like, oh, come on, you're not one of those girls who doesn't eat. And she's like, oh no, I will. So she starts eating, but then she sees like other girls across the room glance at her just ca casually. But of course her ED turns that into like, everyone's staring at you. She then ends up, I, I don't know how, but gaining weight over a, a chip. And she freaks out about it, which I think is accurate because it's hard to convey on screen the devastation that you feel inside. And I feel like in the movie, they were trying to portray her getting upset set physically when in reality an ED patient would probably just feel extremely sad rather than like throw a physical fit about it. She tells Butterfly and Butterfly gets extremely angry at her for gaining one pound which is like I don't know how realistic that is but a lot of people do take this very seriously. Butterfly says that she is not in control enough and that she needs to focus. You, you need to focus. You need to focus on me. I'm sorry, I'm just so scared. Hannah starts freaking out. She says she's so scared and it's like she doesn't even know who she is anymore, which spoiler alert is the calorie deficit from the brain. She says she doesn't feel very well and her brain isn't working the way it's supposed to. The butterfly is like, yeah, don't worry about that because that, that becomes normal. Then she goes into binge mode after having a fight of her friend, which is honestly kind of inevitable with restriction. The brain is confused and it's like, I need food. And it gets to the point where you eat and it's almost like you can't control it, which is pretty realistic. But what actually happens is she's talking to her friend about how like the muffins get so nasty at the end of the day because she works in a coffee shop and they used to donate them, but they're just so gross that they don't even do that anymore. While she's taking it out to the garbage, she ends up taking them out of the garbage and eating them. Then she throws up and has kind of like a miracle, not honestly opposite a miracle moment where she sees like a moth or a butterfly and has like this whole spiritual moment where she's like, I will give myself to you, Anna, which I guess it is really over dramaticized, but it's like, it is the reality but people don't really show it physically that way. But like I said, it's a movie. So it's like, how are you supposed to interpret emotions? She gets really excited when she continues to lose weight. However, she starts to lose hair and becomes extremely depressed and has an outburst. This is when Hannah starts to change into a completely different person. She gets really irritable and angry, which I can definitely say is probably overdramatized for most people. Although I don't know, but it's weird because there was one scene in the movie where her mom walks in and she's like, takes off her shirt so her mom can see how much she's struggling. And it's like, why would you do that? The family is starting to worry about her. So they make a family dinner and they have everyone sit down. And it's really weird because the dad has an obsession with her brother and his weight due to wrestling. And so he's like, you shouldn't be eating the spaghetti at the table in front of Hannah. And the dad is like, why should Leo get give up on his dreams just because Hannah has a problem. And it's like, I don't know, it sounds so dumb that he would say something like that. She gets really defensive and says, I don't have a problem. And he's like, no, sorry, sweetie. It's, um, you know, whatever it is you're going through. But stuff like that actually really does happen. Like people can be pretty ridiculous and not understanding. Something that was really weird and I don't know. Honestly, I do not know how someone with a severe ED would handle this situation, but her mom was like, all right, everyone needs to sit here and eat until everyone 
restaurant is finished and her mom's like, take a bite of the salad and she screams no. And it's like, I don't know if that's realistic. I would love to hear you guys' side of that because I know that a lot of people who struggle with EDs will eat in front of family members or at least make it look like they are instead of just blatantly saying no. Trigger warning, maggot. So her mom walks into her room and notices a bunch of moths everywhere. She opens the door and I, I know I've seen this in ED movies before, like to the bone, like where people will hide vomit bags and stash food. But like, I don't know how common it is. Like just because you have an ED doesn't mean you're like gross, but she had plates that she had hidden in there. And uh, there's just a bunch of maggots in there. And her daughter, Hannah, just kind of shows up out of nowhere and she looks really scary, like the scene set up. I don't know how realistic that is, I guess, maybe this was a portrayal of how a parent might feel in the situation but her daughter starts freaking out on her and gives her this chant of like an ed forum and her mom is like if you don't eat you're going to die and she said i would rather die than be fat Her mom steals her laptop away from her so she can't go on those websites anymore and her daughter is like screaming like a mad person and it quickly cuts to a scene of her going to the hospital. In the hospital, the aberration of Butterfly comes through the computer just telling her to shut her mouth, say everything she needs to say in order to leave. Her parents have a discussion with the doctor about options and they recommend a rehab program for her, but it's a thousand dollars a day and five weeks of treatment. Her parents say they might take a second mortgage out on the house, but instead decide to do outpatient, get a dietitian and a therapist. That part, like, honestly, I'm kind of tearing up. It makes me really sad because of how like devastated her mom is but how like sick Hannah is and she can't like help it. Later that night her brother is making a healthy snack because he needs to meet his weight range for wrestling and his dad walks in and I kid you not says you shouldn't be eating jello and egg whites. He says that he ate dinner already. His dad says to him it's simple if you don't make the weight then you don't wrestle. Her therapist asked her if she thinks that her ED is her friend and she said yes but her her therapist asked her to draw her ED and she drew sort of like a demon thing, but she was also like proud and happy with it because she ended up hanging it up on the board in her therapist's office. Her brother has the wrestling match of a lifetime that we've been preparing for the whole movie and he loses and his dad is screaming at him the whole time like, come on, you have to, you need this, you can't give up, but he's actually unconscious. Later, we found out that he had heart problems, dehydration, and other things and it turns out that the whole time he was the person trying to warn her about butterfly on the Anna site. Her brother struggles from Anna and carved don't eat into his waistline and had been messaging with her the whole time. The end of the movie is really really sad and a plot twist but her brother ends up passing away. It's really sad because he had actually been struggling with it this whole time. That's what makes it less of a triggering movie for me because it's like she goes home, changes her ways, and tears down the posters on her wall and screams, you can't have me too. And just thinking about how now you're going to go for the rest of your life knowing that your 15 year old brother died from that is so tragic.
As a final opinion, I feel like the movie was pretty good at giving the idea of what it's like to have an ED to a person who doesn't have an ED. It has a lot of hit or misses and a lot of it is extremely over dramatized, especially how much weight she lost. Like, of course she's going to like have these extreme complications, but it is reality like that for a lot of people anyways it is pretty triggering like why do we have to put like all of these specific things in it and pictures and stuff but other than that i wouldn't really recommend watching it if you're in an ed you have one i think that you guys probably know your own triggers and stuff like that but just be wary so make sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe turn the bell on if you're feeling risky comment below how you feel about the situation have you seen this movie before thank you so much to each and every one of my members i appreciate each and every one of you every single day make sure to consider becoming a member it starts at 99 cents you get early access to my videos you get to pick my videos and many more other perks. Thank you so much for watching this video as always and goodbye.